He insists he never hurt his daughter. Now a Livingston County father who was convicted of child abuse may actually have a chance to get out of jail. Also, the University of Michigan Innocence Clinic is taking up Josh Burns' case. Seven investigator Heather Catalo has led the way in this coverage of the saga of baby Naomi. And Heather, what's the, in the works for tomorrow? Well, already been sentenced, but tomorrow a judge will hear arguments about why he should be released from jail while his conviction is appealed. A jury convicted Burns earlier this year of second degree child abuse. His infant daughter had to be hospitalized in 2014. Prosecutors accused Burns of harming baby Naomi, but Josh and his wife Brenda both say the retinal hemorrhaging and the bleeding that was found between Naomi's skull and brain were caused by birth trauma and a severe illness. Now, top lawyers from the prestigious U of M Innocence Clinic will be representing Josh Burns in his appeal. Tomorrow afternoon, they will be asking a Livingston County judge to let the commercial airline pilot out of jail during his appeal. Dozens of people protested Josh Burns' conviction, and the case has been featured on the Dr. Phil show. Of course, no one knows what the judge will decide, but she could have sentenced Burns to more than three years in prison. Instead, she only put him away for 12 months in the county jail. The bond hearing will be held at 1.30 tomorrow afternoon. Glenda.